so welcome to my outdoor fitness studio. Um, one of the things that I noticed since it's summer now and um, a lot of my clients are going on vacations or they're taking a little bit of a hiatus because the kids are home from school and they always wanna know what should I do at home or what can I do on vacation so that I keep myself fit enough so that when I come back in the fall, it's not as awful. Um, so today what I'm gonna show you is an outdoor workout. This is something that I might do on vacation or um, if I'm just taking a little bit of a hiatus from my normal in-gym workouts. Um, we're gonna be utilizing a single dumbbell. So you're gonna get a total body workout today with a single dumbbell, which also shows a lot of people who don't have equipment you can get by with a single piece of equipment or even just a very, very um, simple setup and you can get a great workout. So I've got one dumbbell. Um, as far as the weight that you're choosing, it should be a weight that you're comfortable lifting, especially something that you can lift overhead. The overhead press is gonna be your limiting um, factor. It's gonna be your limiting movement. So you wanna make sure it's a weight that you can lift overhead safely. Um, I have a jump rope here. We're gonna add in a little bit of cardio to, to, uh, to today's workout. If you don't like jump roping, you could just do a fast walk. Um, you could do some hill walking. You could add those types of intervals if you don't like to do the jumping. Or you can also modify the jump rope if you, if you don't have one to just a jumping jack whatever you wanna do for that. Um, I might, I'm gonna be doing a floor exercise or ground exercise as well. So you may want to have a mat um, or you can just, if you have grass, you can just do it on the grass. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna start with a light jog. If jogging is not good for you, you can just kick back your knees in place or kick back your feet in place. And if you didn't want to do this kind of a warm up, you could very well just kind of walk around your yard a little bit. The idea here just being to get your blood flowing here, get your heart rate up a little bit, maybe even work up a slight bit of a sweat before we get started. We're going to do a more dynamic warm up in a second. Gonna give it about 20 more seconds to our jog here. All right, and then we're gonna pull the knees up towards the chest. Pull as high as you are comfortable, or as high as is comfortable for you. I'm trying to pull my knees in. So we're warming up our joints now. You're gonna take a wide stance and you're gonna go across the body, come back to center. Find a rhythm to your breathing here. You're gonna reach down. Feet are staying in the same position and reaching up. So again, we're warming up lower body and upper body. When you're doing outdoor workouts, do make sure that you have water with you and make sure, and you're gonna slide on onto that knee, make sure that you also wear sunscreen or you'll see I have a hat on today. I am in the shade, but I always try to make sure that my skin is protected from the sun. We're gonna run one more time through that whole sequence. Just wanna make sure you're really well warmed up before you start weight training. Remember, if the jogging isn't good for you, you can just kick back with the feet. All 
All right, gonna take those legs wide. Come back to center. I try to breathe out as I'm twisting and breathe back in as I come to center. One more each way. And then reaching down, reaching back up. And then bending at the knees. If these lunges don't feel good to you, you can always go back to the rotation or you can do the reach down and the reach back up. All right, so make sure that you have a dumbbell, a jump rope if you're gonna use it, and a mat. Make sure that you have water, make sure you got your sunscreen on, your sun protection, and we'll get started in just a second. Thank you for being an Armstrong customer in Medina. As your internet TV and telephone provider, we continually invest in our state-of-the-art fiber optic network across six states to meet current needs and stay ahead of future demand. Our employees are your family, friends, and neighbors. Their dedication to customer service sets us apart. We believe it's our responsibility to be good community partners through sponsorships and outreach programs. Why Armstrong? Unmatched employees. Unmatched fiber network. Unmatched in Medina. All right, so we're gonna start with a series of dumbbell exercises. So we're gonna be doing single-sided exercises. Um, start with the dumbbell in your weak hand, okay? So for me, that's my left. It's usually your non-dominant side. We're gonna start with a squat to overhead press. So you're gonna squat back, you're gonna squat as low as you can comfortably, and you're gonna press that dumbbell overhead as you come back up. We're gonna do 10 um, on each side. So make sure when you're squatting that you're pushing your hips backwards like you're about to sit, sit down on something behind you. A lot of times when I'm working with a client, I will actually have them sit down on something to do their squats. That's how we learn proper form. You wanna keep your weight towards the back of your foot as well. So let's go ahead and do these. 10 on each. There's three. There's nine, 10, switch the dumbbell to the other hand. You'll find that if you ended with your weaker or your uh, stronger side, it'll seem a little easier. There's eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's put the dumbbell down for just a second. I usually take 20 to 30 seconds of rest between the exercises. If you're really looking to get into the cardio side of this, you could go from one exercise to the next very quickly. All right, next exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be a plank row. So this is where I'm gonna use my mat. So you're gonna be in your, your straight arm plank position, pretty challenging, single arm, and you're gonna be rowing the dumbbell up to here, okay? Now, if this is too difficult for you, if you can't get in a plank position, if it's too much pressure on your wrist, you can also do single arm rows from a standing position, just like this. Again, we're gonna go with 10 per side, start on your weak side. So for me, I'm starting with the dumbbell on my left hand. There's one, two, there's seven, eight, nine, ten. 
switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna get the dumbbell out of the way. This is gonna be the only double side exercise we're gonna do. We're gonna do push-ups. You can do push-ups from your knees. You can do them from your toes, whatever you feel like doing. So we're gonna do 10 of them. From the knees, it's gonna look like this. From the toes, you're gonna to be here. So let's start. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna come back up to standing. And again, we're gonna take a short rest just to let the muscles recover. The next exercise that we're gonna do is gonna challenge your balance and your coordination. So we're gonna do a single leg deadlift and a row. So your single leg deadlift, you're gonna come here, you're gonna stop, row, stand back up. If you really struggle with the balance on this, find a tree, find a chair, make sure you have that accessible for your other hand. So if I had a bench right here, I'd be able to touch the bench, do my row, and see I lost my balance a little bit there. All right, so again, I'm gonna start with my weak side gonna go down towards my opposite foot. This is the working leg. So down, row, stand back up. Wanna get that full row in there. There's two. Take your time on this. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. There's nine, one more. 10. All right. If you find you really struggle with the balance on these, you probably need to do more balance work. This is why I like this kind of workout for summer. Full row, stand back up. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, and 10. Again, I'm gonna set the dumbbell down for a second. I'm gonna grab a, a quick sip of water. We've got two more exercises to go in our circuit. For over two decades, Zoom Internet has been a leader in broadband. And now, we've built the network of the future with 10G. 10 times faster than gig speed internet. Able to support the limitless demand of the future. Providing advanced security for connected devices. Our fiber network is unmatched. Zoom from Armstrong. The internet of tomorrow is here today. All right, now we're gonna do a deadlift with a single arm upright row. So what we're used to is our squat, right? Where we're pushing the hips back and there's a lot of bend to the knee. This is going to be a deadlift. Soft knee, but not, not locked back, soft, but much more of a straight leg. As we come up, we're gonna bring that dumbbell into an upright row. Now, if the upright row hurts the shoulders, don't do it. You can always just do the single arm deadlift if the deadlift hurts your back, you can just do the upright row. All right, so we're going deadlift, upright row. There's one, 
two, three, four, five, There's eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. One, And 10. All right, I'm gonna switch the dumbbell back to my other hand. And now we're gonna do reverse lunges. You could also do walking lunges, but for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna try to stay in the frame. So I'm holding the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna step back with my left foot. I'm not gonna change sides. There's eight, two more, nine, and 10. Switch the dumbbell to your other hand, and then you're switching to the opposite foot. One of the great things about these single side workouts is that they really challenge your core and your balance. They just make you a more functional human. Almost, this is nine and 10. All right. Feeling it a little bit, but I lied. I said we only had two more in the circuit, but since I have my jump rope out here, we might as well do a little jump roping. Like I said, if you don't wanna jump, that's okay. You could just stand in place. You could do jumping jacks if you don't have a jump rope. Do whatever works best for you, or you could take an extended rest. So let's see if I can still remember how to do this. <laughs> We're gonna do 25 of them. All right. Twenty-four, twenty-five. All right, a little extra one in there for good measure. All right, so let's take a break and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do that entire circuit again. At Armstrong, our employees take great pride in supporting the community. Here is a historic landmark that makes our hometown special. Built in 1972, the gazebo in Medina's Uptown Park is the signature landmark of the city. The gazebo plays host to concerts, weddings, and is the backdrop for community events, including the Medina County Farmer's Market and Art in the Park. Brought to you by the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Catch all your favorite local programming on Channel 100 or on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna go back to that first exercise. So it's gonna be your squat and overhead press. This is definitely one of the most taxing exercises in the entire circuit. So we're gonna start, remember your squat. Squatting down is low, like you're about to sit down on something behind you. Three, I hope you started on your weak side. Four. There's nine, one more on this side, and then we're gonna switch. Make sure you keep breathing. There's nine, one more, and 10. Okay, make sure you got your mat handy. Next one we're doing is our row from the plank position. Another way that you could do this is one knee down, one knee or uh, one leg up in plank, and you can row from here if the full plank is too challenging. This is also definitely a challenging exercise. Works everything. There's four. Five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Go ahead and switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, Almost one more, 10. Okay, getting the dumbbell out of the way, we're gonna go to our push-ups. So 10, however you prefer. One. There was 10. Okay, if you need a little bit of a break, totally okay to take one. Gonna get our mat out of the way. Our deadlift to upright row is gonna be next. All right, I know I said we're doing deadlift to upright row, but I forgot one of the exercises in between. So we're gonna go back to that um, deadlift and the regular row, so not an upright row. So single leg deadlift, remember you're gonna start with the dumbbell in one side, you're gonna go towards the opposite toe. So you're down, stay here, row, and then stand back up. If you're really struggling with the balance, make sure you have something to grab onto with the other hand. There's three. You will see, if you try to do these, I know it's frustrating if the balance is challenging for you, but if you practice these, you will see your balance improve by leaps and bounds. We've got two more and then we're gonna switch. There's nine and 10. Okay, switching sides. Row all the way back up. There's two, there's three. Make sure you come all the way back up to your standing position. So don't stop halfway here. There's seven, eight. Nine, one more, 10. Okay, switch the dumbbell back to the other hand. Now we're doing our deadlift with the upright row. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, come all the way to standing. Seven, eight, Nine, 10. Two. Almost eight, nine, 10. Dumbbell goes back to the other side. If you do need a break, take one. I'm gonna step back with the opposite foot. Not switching. Two, three, four, five. And 10. As you get tired, you'll feel yourself start to waver a little bit. Totally normal. Just make sure that you maintain control. One more, 10. Okay, dumbbell's gonna hit the ground. I'm gonna go 
back to our jump rope or whatever you're doing for your cardio or your extended break. 25. Oh, last one, I lost it. <laughs> All right, take a break. For those of you who are more fit, you can join me for a third round of this and then we'll call it a day. If you're still at the beginning of your fitness journey and you're more of a novice, you could quit here while you're ahead and you could go take a walk and enjoy the outdoors. So we'll be right back and we'll finish that third round. Armstrong is honored to commemorate the fifth anniversary of our Healing Heroes initiative. With your support, we've tripled our goal by raising $338,000, enabling us to provide 15 area veterans with service dogs. We continue to encourage veterans in need of this life-changing assistance to apply for a Guardian Angels medical service dog by visiting armstrongonewire.com slash healing heroes and clicking apply now. Together, we can unleash the power to heal. All right, we've got our last round through this. For those of you who are more advanced or looking for the challenge, so we're gonna start with that squat in the overhead press. Remember to keep the weight towards the center or the back of your foot. There's two, three, control the movement on the way down too. Don't just drop into your squat. There's eight. Nine, 10, switch sides. Two, seven, almost. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, you're gonna find your mat or the ground, whatever is your preference. For your row is first, plank row. One, two, three, there's eight, nine, ten, switch sides. It's okay to have your feet a little bit wide here. Helps with the balance part. There's nine, 10. So set the dumbbell to the side, put your knees down for a second. Get ready for push-ups. and 10. All right, at this point, usually take about 20 seconds of rest. We're right in the middle of our circuit. Get rid of our mat. The next one is going to be our deadlift with the row. Always take an opportunity for a water break. All right. So remember, dumbbell goes down towards the opposite toe. Row, and there's one. Stand all the way back up. Look forward. There's four. Three more. One more. All right, switching sides. Oh, I forgot the row. Gotta do it again. There's one.
Here's eight. Nine. And 10. All right, switching the dumbbell. Back to the other hand, we're gonna go with our deadlift to upright row. So the row that we just did works the back. The upright row works more of your shoulder. Keep that elbow nice and high. There's five. Eight. Nine. 10, switch sides. Six. One more. All right, switching back to the other side. We're gonna go with our reverse lunges. Remember, both knees are bending here. Nine, one more. As you get tired, the balance definitely becomes more of a challenge. There's four. Seven. One more. And 10. All right, last thing. The jump rope for 25. Make sure everything is in place. Twenty four, twenty five. All right, I'm gonna take a rest. We'll do a couple of stretches here at the end, and then we'll call it a day. Armstrong has a history of being engaged in the areas where we provide service. One of these ways is through breaking bread. Food insecurity affects over 12 million children and 5 million seniors nationwide, putting them at risk for chronic health conditions. We're taking a four-prong approach to fighting hunger by collecting donations, volunteering time, donating money, and raising awareness. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. All right, so the jump rope, we're not gonna use for pain anymore. We're gonna use this for a stretch. If you don't have a jump rope or a band or something you can use, you don't have to worry that much about it. You're just gonna reach up and behind you and you're just gonna push back. So where you should feel this stretch is right in through the front. It's a nice chest opener stretch. So even if you don't have anything, just push your arms back. We're gonna hold for about 20 seconds. Take a few nice deep breaths. Still kind of catching our breath from the workout. And then the next one, you're gonna get rid of that. We're just gonna go, you're gonna take a hang. So this is really good for the low back. Um, this stretches out the back of the legs, the hamstrings, so. And when you get here, you wanna find, so I just kinda widen my stance here until I find where I'm getting the best stretch through the inner and through the back. And then I'm gonna hang my head. So try not to hold a bunch of tension in your neck. And the hat will fall off. And again, we're gonna hold here for about 20 seconds, maybe 30. And I sometimes walk my hands backwards a little bit to deepen that stretch through the low back. And 
And then I'll walk my hands back up. Move the legs back in. And then as you come back to standing, do be aware that the blood rushed to your head. It might rush back out, so you could feel a little bit dizzy for a second. So that was our workout for today. Just kind of go and show you, you can get a workout on vacation with very, very simple equipment. So today we used the jump rope, the dumbbell, and a mat, and that was all we needed. Got a great total body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's something that you want to see, definitely get in touch with the Armstrong Neighborhood channel. If you want to talk to me, my name is Kelly Bailey. I own Kelly Bailey Fitness and you can reach me at kellybailey1980 at gmail.com.